CBS Sports Radio talking to Fred McLeod. He is the television play-by-play voice for the Cleveland Cavaliers. How has this team adapted to Tyron Lue uh, being the head coach in the locker room? Uh, very well. You know, he just, uh, listen, they have great respect for him and uh, did so as an assistant. And it's funny, it doesn't matter where we go or, or what team comes into a quick and Loans arena, you'll always see guys, you know, come over before a ball game or after a game and, uh, you know, say hello to him. He's got a lot of respect from guys around the league. And when he was with Doc, he was a, a valued assistant in Boston and L.A. And many times he had to be the, the heavy guy. He had to, uh, you know, be the enforcer, so to speak, from the, um, you know, coaching conversation. You know, had to say some tough things from time to time. So he, he gets guys respect and uh, treats them as professionals. And, uh, you know, he's getting the to play the right way and, you know, is, is holding them accountable and, you know, and saying, look, we're not in great shape yet. we got to get in the kind of shape that we want to, to get to to be able to really quicken the pace and, and yet not allow our defense to uh, to linger. So the Cavs are, you know, fourth in offensive efficiency right now, number uh, eight in defense. So uh, certainly some areas that they can improve upon, but uh, they're definitely headed in the right direction. Uh, you're closer to the team than any other media guy in the country, basically. Uh, did the media across the country treat LeBron James fairly or unfairly in that whole, you know, David Blatt fired, Tyron Lue hired situation? Well, it, to, to say that he causes is ridiculous. I mean, I'm there every day. I, I saw how he interacted every day with, with Coach Blatt. And, uh, you know, this is something that David Griffin felt needed to be done. Uh, unprecedented in terms of the record, but I give the guy a lot of credit. He, you know, th- this team is trying to win championships, and he didn't feel that the mix was uh, totally right. And, uh Listen, it would have been very easy to just uh, stay put and see how it played out, but uh, he just uh, didn't like the connectivity that he he felt and saw and witnessed. And, you know, Griff would talk to LeBron. He would talk to all the guys. Just He's around the team constantly. So this is uh, not something that he just uh, went on the recommendation of one or two or three players or or took a survey. He just... uh, you know, it was his gut, and, uh, and through his own due diligence, uh, decided to make the change. I, I think we can agree that there's a certain percentage of people out there, I call them the LeBron haters. It, it doesn't matter what he does. Right. Uh, you know, A, because he's so talented. B, because of the decision, which, good God, can we please get over that already? Uh, no matter what he does, he's going to be blown up. And, and I'll give you for an example what I thought was ridiculous. Game one with Tyron Lue, uh, what was it, the seat cushion that, that, that it looked like LeBron told Tyron to give him? Tyron gave him the seat cushion, and people said, oh, my God, look at that. LeBron's already putting his foot down saying, this is my team, not Lue's team. Oh, it's it's ridiculous. Just just like in uh, in Phoenix a year ago, over a year, ago, almost exactly a year ago. If you remember in, that uh, David was about to get a tech, and he kind of pushed him out of the way yes. to save him from getting a tech. They go, well, of course it, it it was wildfire that he was showing disrespect and, and shoving David Blatt. I mean, this is this is the kind of stuff that the guy deals with, and and, and frankly, I think it was even more uh, ferocious when he went to Miami. I mean, these guys really heard it around the country. So uh, he's used to it and, and, frankly, doesn't pay a lot of attention to it. But to, to think that he was the one that uh, made the decision on the coaching change is pure folly. Paul Mano, CBS Sports Radio, talking to Fred McLeod, playing a play voice for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I, I, you said, you know, he doesn't listen to it. And I'm just talking from a purely outside perspective, obviously. I'm not with the team like you do. I perceive LeBron as a guy who wants to be liked. I, I think it seems oh, like he oh, wants to be liked by everybody, and that's got to bother him. He's got to hear it, doesn't he, Fred? But but who doesn't want to be liked? I mean, Steph.